How much do you think heartbreak weighs? Um, it's never really anything I've thought about before. Why do you ask? I don't know, I just feel like sometimes it seems inevitable. Bro, you don't have to worry about that. I promise. I love you until my last breath. You should never have introduced me to him. This is all your fault. You ruined my entire life. Oh, so now it's my fault, is it? You know, I also lost one of my best friends, Ro. So stop being so damn selfish for once and grow up. Casper's gone, and guess what? Acting up this way and throwing tantrums isn't gonna bring him back. So, Ro, what brings you here today? Um, I'm just, um, depressed, I guess. Uh, heartbroken, and um, I don't, I just don't want to deal with the grief anymore. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm a mess, maybe this was a bad idea. You have nothing to apologise for, Roy. Take your time. You mentioned being depressed, heartbroken. Could you tell me more about that? I don't even, I don't even know where to start, um, cause it's, it's all so hard. Mm, I can imagine. Why don't you just start from the beginning? The beginning, okay. Um, right. The day that I, I met Caspar was the best day of my life. It was actually a really nice evening, um, and we hit it off right away, Casper and I. But um, in a weird way, I just kind of, I kind of wish that I never even went there for drinks, because then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today. Things were so easy with us. Like, I mean, every couple has their moments, but it was just so easy. Like, those years were. They were the best of my life and it it hurts to even say because I miss him so much. And I just I can't seem to move on because I'm I'm it's so I just I'm so angry at him. One day he just he just left me. Bro, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. It's just... No, you I'm... know what, Mon? I'm sure you meant it, and maybe you're right. Like, I am selfish, and all of this is my fault. It's all my fault that my boyfriend killed him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I just... <sighs> Bro, the thing is, we're all still here, and we love you. But it's, it's like all you've done in the last year is push us away. You barely even talk to me anymore, and it, 
I don't know how to help. It is so hard to watch you like that. <laughs> I feel like I've lost you too. It wasn't your fault, bro. It wasn't anyone's. I mean, you know it was just a matter of time. Stage four cancer, it was already killing him. He just wanted to go on his own terms to, to stop being in so much pain. But he should have kept holding on. Like, we could have had a few more months, a year even. I don't know why he did that to me. I thought, I thought that he loved me. But I thought that he was going to be with me. Rowie, Rowie, Casper loved you so much. And you know that. He, he wanted to set you free. I don't know why it's taken me so long to come and see someone and talk to someone because these paths, this past year has just been so hard and I, I don't know what to do anymore. All I know is that I just, I don't want to go through life living as if I'm already dead. You need to... None of this is your fault, Roy, and you need to forgive him. And most importantly, you need to forgive yourself. How much do you think heartbreak weighs? Um, it's never really anything I've thought about before. Why do you ask? I don't know, I just feel like sometimes it seems inevitable. Ro. You don't have to worry about that, I promise. I'll love you until my last breath. 